For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my God have I leaped over a wall. It is God that guardeth me with strength, and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hands' feet, and setteth me upon my high places. He teacheth my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Thou art also given me the shield of thy salvation, and thy right hand hath borne me up, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not sleep. Sales people in Canada, they can sell markets. <laughs> You'll be lost. You Hi guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm very excited to have you back here again. My name is Greta, if you're just coming here for the first time. And to my old subscribers, thank you very much for pushing on with me till this time. So guys, it's been six months since I left my family, left friends, left everything I had known all my life and decided to come to Canada all by myself, without family, without knowing anyone here prior. How has it been for me this six months plus it's been god's grace and god's help like I'm a, I'm a believer i'm a christian and i would say i've seen the hand of god in everything in my coming here and everything that i have gotten up to up to this point first question would be am i settled i would say yes i am settled 95 percent or 90 percent settled god has been faithful to me so i wouldn't want to deny his hand upon my life and say oh things are not working and all of those things so that's why i would say yes i'm settled in, um 95 percent the other five percent god is still working it out i think uh what um I, I would also say that coming in as a permanent resident also made a difference for me was a huge benefit for me because I didn't have anything to worry about. All I just had to worry about was getting a job and all of those things. But coming in as a permanent resident remains the best, like the very best. For those of you who have been watching my videos, you saw that I got a job before I landed and um, I got another job not so long after that. I'm not going to underestimate the struggles of other people. That's why I keep saying that um, it's been favor, favor for me then um i would also say that having people around the people you have around me when you go to a, a new country also helps um how easy it will be for you to settle down so that is another aspect i'm grateful for the people i had around me like i came here i already had accommodation waiting for me because a nigerian licked me up with another nigerian that was willing to rent a room one of her rooms out and then we've had a good relationship ever since then also my church like I have met people, my colleagues too, they are not Nigerians, but some of them are Africans, other Canadians and other countries and it's been good. So one thing I would say is that you, it's very necessary when you're going to another country that you have an open mind. Be open to change, be open to learning. I'm still on learning and learning a whole lot of things. For me, I'm an introvert, but I don't know how, how, how come I decided to do YouTube because I'm an introvert. I hardly put myself out there, but see me, I'm doing YouTube, but I have, um, I've been able to open up myself to socialize without losing those morals that I grew up with, that I was brought up with. So guys, another thing I want to talk about will be the personal changes I have experienced and my own learning and relearning um process so far yeah i'm still learning and i'm still um on learning so many things is one of the changes i've come to experience so far is a deeper love for my country don't get me wrong i've always loved my country even though of course some days sometimes you just get angry at your leaders and everything it's the same thing with people here i hear them complain about things and everything it happens to the best of countries but i've come to understand that there is no place like home i love it here i i, I don't want to go back home at least not anytime soon i want to still travel to meet to visit other places but i've come to understand that there is never any place like home africa is a fertile ground africa not just nigeria africa is a beautiful place to live in that's it i'll leave it like that another one would be um, i have experienced and i'm still experiencing a deep fellowship communion relationship with god 
I was following God. I had a relationship with God back home. But there's something here that puts you in between the line of you either fall or you go deeper. You either fall due to the rigors of life here sometimes, due to the busy nature of life, due to the lots of things you have to do and goals you have to meet, or you go deeper. Yes, you still have those goals you're pursuing, but you go deeper. There are so many things that can take you away from God. So many things that can sway you, ways of life, culture here. But if you know what you want, if you know that, you know that you get to that moment where you say, God, I beg go, what it be this? What is here? Someone can easily pick up and or learn. You just go deeper into a relationship with God. So that is one aspect that has changed. Then how about the learning and um, unlearning? Since I've been here just for the six months plus, my mind has experienced a mental shift, like a mental shift in areas such as accepting people, loving people the way they are, living holding on to your beliefs and your morals but still embracing other people with their beliefs and their morals you're loving people you're accepting things and everything but you're not giving away your morals you're not giving away your beliefs that's like my mind has really experienced a shift guys i learned so much i'm learning so much every day it's good when they say it's good to travel it's really good to travel and I know that there's still so much more that I can learn, that I have to learn. Then um, one thing I have, I have also come to learn and I'm grateful for is the fact that it's very important to have information on the back of your hands. It's very important to seek information. So I was talking to someone the other day and she was like, hey, Canada, forget all those uh, content creators. Um, they, they just tell you the good side. They don't tell you the challenges you face here. Canada is not what they, they portrayed it to be. I was like, okay, so what were you listening to? Were you just looking at the good parts? You're not looking at other areas, like what challenges will I face here? See, guys, when I got my invitation, when I got my invitation to apply and also got my application approved was the time that inflation just started, there were job losses, people were going through challenges, cost of living had gone high, housing was so difficult to come by, the cost of housing had gone up and I almost just changed my mind. I almost said I was not coming again because it was just me. I didn't want to come suffer here. I was like, God, how would life be like here? But after I prayed and I decided to come with and go ahead with I decided to go ahead with it and I'll tell you that sometimes when I experience any challenge I'm like, okay, but it was said before. So getting information prepared my mind for what I could possibly um, experience here. And I would say that that has really helped me. So seek information. Don't come because people are coming. Make Get your mind ready, your mind prepared that, okay, it might not be a walk in the park at the initial stage, but I just know that whatsoever I face, I am ready to go ahead with it i am ready to go on with it so seek information seek information it also help you like it also helps settling in to also help your stability when you get here because you're already armed with lots of information be open-minded reach out to people a very important lesson i have learned and i would want to share to anyone looking at coming in or if you're just newly settled if you're if you just newly came in is you have to have a sound knowledge of finance here canada is a credit driven society everything is credit 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 you want to buy a phone the phone cost of the phone is so much you don't want to buy it outrightly credit they so paint it like, oh, you pay $20 every month, $30 every month. But there are other bills that you need to pay. And before you know it, your monthly bill is just increasing, increasing. You want to buy a car, credit. So you have to have a sound knowledge of credit, of finances, of budgeting, of how to balance yourself. Else, just know that credit card is not your own. Credit is not your own. And at the, at the end of every month, 
when you're supposed to pay this thing, if you miss any payment, it's affecting your credit score, interest is building up, you're getting gradually getting into trouble. Respect to my Igbo brethren back home. And there's a tribe called the Igbos back in Nigeria. They are very industrious, can sell markets and everything. Respect to them. But you see, eh, they know rich Canadians. Sales people in Canada, they can sell markets. You'll be lost. You'll just be carried away. You'll be looking at them. Hey, guys. Learn to ask questions. Even to, to the most stupid questions. Ask. Know all the integrities, the details, before you get into anything. I'm talking from experience, so I never enter trouble. I've not got into trouble, but just ask. Else you'll be so shocked, like you say, and to pull out from trouble sometimes. Instead of pulling out, they'll be giving you other options that will still sink you in. Guys, just ask questions. Have a sound knowledge of finance. Just know that when you come in here, you need to be financially smart. You need to be financially smart. That's um, that's one thing. So, guys, those are the things. It's been beautiful so far. Canada is beautiful. Canada is a land filled with opportunities. There are lots of opportunities you would get here. In fact, I've not started announcing those opportunities. Lots of opportunities. It's not a place where you pick money, where you pluck money from the ground, from the tree. You have to work. There's nobody here to dash your money. For every dime you earn, you must have worked for it. So, as long as you're able to put in the work, and with faith and God by your side, Canada... Um, you will thrive. That's what I tell myself that I will thrive in this place. Guys, I don't know how I missed talking about the fact that Canada is a big DIY place. See, before I came here, people were saying needs I knew, but coming here, I have seen a big difference like DIY. Some things you'd have to think about doing yourself before you call someone else, you would pay for it, pay hugely for it. So you have to consider learning how to do things yourself, like making hair and whatever. So guys, that's it. Let me know if you have any more videos you would want me to touch on or to talk on. And I'll be sure to do that. I'm trying as much as possible to do vlogs. Um, I have so many interesting things to vlog about to show you guys. But I'm still not used to vlogging. Like I'm still not used to carrying camera around and recording little details of everything. I'm shy about that. I'll try to do that as much as I can. Thank you. Do not forget to subscribe, please. Like and share. Let's build this channel up and until the next time hasta la vista au revoir bye bye almighty god creature of all there is no one like you you are magnificent holy and true alpha and omega let everything that god has made join us to see his glorious praise let everything that god has made join us to see his glorious praise praise jehovah